Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues with the big boys of boxing. Six rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing silver trunks with black trim and weighed in at 14 stone, seven pounds. Hailing from Blackpool, his record consists of 20 wins, six losses, one draw with nine wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Matthew Ellis. And his opponent fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing green trunks with white and weighed in at 18 stone, one pound, eight ounces. Coming to us from Manchester, he was the 2008 ABA Senior Super Heavyweight Champion, and now as a professional, he is undefeated with four wins, and all four wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Tyson Fury. Our referee in charge is Dave Paris, six round scheduled heavyweights. Okay, boys, you both know the rules. We're not going to knuckle part of the glove. If one of you goes down, they will go to the furthest inch of combat. Break when I tell you to. Defend yourself at all times. Shake hands, boys. Good luck to you both. Matthew Ellis was knocked out in a couple of rounds by Audley Harrison not so long back. Similarly by Enzo Macronelli. Seconds out. But he can First punch. Round. Has he got the ambition? to make it an awkward night here for Tyson Fury. Plenty of young talent in the heavyweight division in this country. And Fury trying to show that he's the best of them. For some strange reason, Ellis just decided to walk in. He just decided to walk straight into the firing line, take Fury's best punches, and that's the result. The theory was that he can't fight off the back foot. Well, he had his man trapped in the corner, landed a flurry of punches, and down he went. I think he's going to do well to get through this opening round. Well, if you're going to walk into the firing line, you're going to get nailed. And that's exactly what's happened. What did he expect? Caught by another big right hand. I don't think he's going to want too much more. It may be that it's going to finish right here. He's had enough. Matthew Ellis has been counted out in the very first round. And in very few seconds indeed, 51 seconds unofficially, Tyson Fiore, fifth win, another knockout, and I don't think he took a punch, did he? It really was a pretty facile victory. He took it very, very easily indeed. Never, never took a punch. You know, Fury just went out there, did exactly what he was supposed to do, but I'm absolutely shocked and amazed by what little resistance Ellis actually put up. He, he just walked straight out and just hit it off. You want to hit me? Hit me, and that was the end result. He was always going to go down. You can't let somebody just tee off on you like this. It's crazy. I think the idea was if I put him down onto the back foot, he can't do anything. Well, that was the first time he went down. This is the second one. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Well, there are still those out there who say Tyson Fury can't punch. Matthew Ellis will certainly think he can land a little. Well, you know, but you don't learn absolutely anything in boxing, in my opinion, with fights like that. Obviously, you want to get guys out there as quickly as possible. Nothing wrong with, with Fury's uh, motive or intent and what he was trying to do, but would have learned nothing from this fight except boost his confidence and his bank balance. Easy night, very easy night for Tyson Fury. The two men now are touching gloves. No uh, lasting damage done to Matthew Ellis, thank goodness. Tyson Fury, too big, too hard, too accurate, and another victory. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. 48 seconds of round number one. Your winner by count out and still undefeated, Tyson Fury. Very easy night's work for Tyson Fury. But they'll keep on talking about him. Another knockout, easy one, didn't push him too much, didn't, I don't think, learn a great deal from that one. Apparently, they're not even fancying sparring this big fella nowadays. 
and uh, I don't know how many British fighters are going to be wanting to fight him after this. 